Hey guys, it's Fair Flip Champ, and today we're making bad life decisions. Um, Don't we always? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be reading cringy fan fiction. Um, I already looked at some of this. I picked out the stories, but she's she got. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to be reading. I've only read that much of them. I'm guessing it's gonna be like this. <laughs> we'll see. All right, fine. We have to find them on your phone. All right. There. Oh, you're letting me read it? Yeah. You're slender, chubby. Or you're slender or chubby. Fingers tapped on the panel rapidly without bothering to look. You only hope that one of your fingers hit the ventilation system reboot. The satisfying beeping of the reboot made you so relieved, making the flashing red sirens turn off. The stiffness in your jaw went numb. You could finally catch your breath. Thank God I'm not dead. You thought as your fingers held the maintenance panel, your thumbs hovering over the systems. What was that? You recalled as you... You recalled that the equipment, sorry, was barely functional, but it wouldn't just offline by itself. Is something stuck in the vents or something? You tried to cool down from the panic attack you had, but you couldn't help but worry that the thing could be chasing you. Anxious, you flicked through all the cameras, expecting to see some weird deformed monster. You nervously laughed at yourself at the thought, monsters? No such thing. Lion, I really need to stop watching horror movies. You told yourself as you fanned yourself with your own hands since the old fan wasn't helping much. Your heart stopped and your something orbs. Oh, That's why? Is your, your eyeballs widened when you flicked cam 10. Did your very own eyes deceive you? At the corner of the camera, the, the familiar white people, pupil engrossed your eyes. The cinematronic had a permanent smile on his suit showing his its decaying teeth and molded body parts. Hold up, I'm gonna stop here. Why would you write a fanfic about someone who has rotting teeth and is molding from the inside out and has a decaying body in their suit? Anyway, that looked like they were about to fall apart any second. This mascot was very similar looking to Bonnie, a character you found online. Was that thing in the boarded room the entire time? You couldn't even understand your own thought. Your lips were quivering and your eyelashes were wet from crying. You were scared. No, that's an understatement. You were frightened? No, you were startled and flabbergasted. The camera flabbergasted? <laughs> Shut up. The cameras blacked out while you were staring at the screen in shock. A surprising gasp emitted from your mouth as you tried to search the terrifying creature. For the terrifying creature. This must be a mistake. Are they pranking me? What kind of troll is this? When that cro when that thought crossed your mind, your face scrunched up in boiling anger. A scowl rumbled from your throat. Yariel? The owner could have been we wearing that horrifying suit, but now wasn't the time to make conclusions. You shook your head, trying to rub off your anger and flicking the cameras. You have an animatronic to find. <laughs> Looking for me, kitty? A new voice interjected with your focus, <laughs> making you uh, once again feel panic. You arched your neck up to, to me. <laughs> not the animatronic. I'm acting this out. Wait, not the animatronic, but a human? The male's hair was rather messy and the bunny- <laughs> The bunny ears sprouted from the top. He wore the same smile and the same glowing pupils as the animatronic. Wires, chains, stitches could all be seen attached to him in his poorly cared clothes, exposing bits of his skin here and there, his human spring traps. <laughs> Who are you? Your question sounded more like than more than a whisper. It sounded like nothing more than a whisper. You weren't sure if this was a prank anymore. The guy was literally trying to cosplay as the animatronic. <laughs> is he a worker? The man chuckled at your greeting. My name is Springtrap. I'm assuming you're Wyan, right? You look like such a cutie. <laughs> His grin widened even more. His eyes boring and to your own rich eyeball orbs. Your face flushed with red embarrassment at the comment. <laughs> Why are you trying to cosplay as the animatronic? How do you know my name? You rolled away from the window, just to be cautious. Oh, sweetie, I am the animatronic. I was just looking through the files and found your profile rather interesting, YN. After I was reading through them, I realized you weren't trying to look for me, so I had something to do to get your attention. 
His hands are planted against the window, staring at you with interest. <laughs> you rolled your chair back unconsciously as he did so. I'd have been like, get away from me, you creepy, musty man. Well, that's such a nice way to get my attention. Spring trap. You slowly growled at his expression, which was filled with happiness. How long have you been here? You were referring to the boarded room. I have been here for centuries, Kitty. <laughs> An insane look was plastered on his face. Even from the day you were born, I was still here. It's been such a long time since I've encountered a human in a cute one. You wanted badly to wipe the perverted smirk that was crossing his face. Before you knew it, the 6 a.m. bell rang off, signaling the end of your shift. You sighed in relief, expecting Springtrap to go away, but he still stood there. Remember, Wyan, they may have said to you that there's only one, but there's a lot more dangers here than just me. I really hope I can see you here again, my little kitty. <laughs> he giggled insanely before marking down the halls. <laughs> this job was a stake. One big mistake. I'm happy I didn't read that. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I'm ready to waterlog myself. That was chapter two of Miss. I'm not mistake. That was chapter two of Centuries, a Spring Trap X Reader thing called Mistake. Called the chapter was called Waterlogged. Mistake. Just waterlogged myself. I'm a ghost. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, let's read the next one. Or you're gonna be reading this one, by the way. Yay! Yay! I want to read the furry one that I have. It okay. says discontinued. I think there's a reason it's discontinued. It's the normal voice is going to be like the narrator voice, and my really high-pitched one is going to be like your name, and then you'll see for Deku. Um, okay. It was a dark, starry night. While the tides were swaying back and forth, footprints emerged with the sand. Every time one of those red sneakers enveloped the, into the sand, it would create a crunching noise, making the silent night become startled. Small whispers... <laughs> Small whispers <laughs> float throughout the air and as the wind carries with on its melody of sleep. You know, if you really wanted to be a hero that badly, there's another there's actually another way. Just pray that you'll be born with a quirk in your next life and take a swan dive off the roof. <laughs> Katsuki Bakugo Katsuki Bakugos voice rang throughout Izuku Midori's ears. You'll never be a hero, oh you quirkless Deku! <laughs> There's an actual rat in this. Um, Deku Roar sounds like a Suku. Deku means worthless, just like you, quirkless Deku. Roar XD. Anyway, Izuku stopped dead in his tracks, leaving a smudge trail of sand behind him and a small hill curving like a wave in front of him. I'm gonna keep these on. I really am, quirkless Deku. That's his, that's his voice. <laughs> that's his voice. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> Izuku said out loud. I'm giving out loud. Through the echoing silence, if only All Might had- You know what? No, I'm just gonna have my role always be Deku. If only All Might had- If only All Might gave me that quirk, I could stand up better against Kachan. 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 <laughs> it's it's only a hot All Might with his- Big muscles. <laughs> and gave Dave. Me that quirk named Dave. And Dave. <laughs> Um, okay. Izuku sighed as he kicked the sand, making it flow throughout the wind. Sand doesn't float. Oh, wait. It doesn't float. Okay, yeah. What? Yeah. What? Sand anyway. doesn't float. Anyway, um, Izuku looks around the area, hoping that nobody is watching. Kachan, you may think I'm quirkless, but I have a power that nobody knows about. But I have a power nobody knows about, Izuku says as he raises his right hand at an angle. Black lightning and telekinesis, those are my two main quirks. The black wind. Why are you wearing sunglasses? I don't know, I <laughs> put them on and kept them on. <laughs> Continue reading. Oh, great. Right. Um, quirk, black lightning. I'm not going to read the description of these quirks. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Izuku then let his hand slide down the pocket of his gray tracksuit pants. Oh, that's, that's a pocket. I have a pocket. All right, continue reading. No one cares about your pocket. Okay. <laughs> Who are you, Izuku? Asks as he leans down and sits in the sand with his knees up to his chest, glancing behind himself. My name is Tomura Shigaraki. <laughs> A 
but please tell me there was a, there was a, there was a, like a, 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 I don't know what those things are called. I don't know. Swirly things. No. Oh, okay. Who are you? Yeah. My name is Tomura Shigaraki, leader of the League of Villains. Well, what do you want with me? Zuku asks, and he leans. Your <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Okay. Izuku asks, he relaxes and leans back. I want you to join us. I've seen your power. I'm not interested. I'm in the first ranked hero school at UA. We know that, but you can be our spy. Watch the pro heroes and report to us. Am I doing a very good she Rocky voice? I feel like I am. Zuku thinks for a second, then looks at Shigaraki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Okay. Are they? Is there like flirting going on here? Is there asterisks? No. Ooh. Let's see here. What is he thinking? Azuku thinks to himself as he stares in Shigaraki in the eyes. Damn, he's sort of hot. <laughs> <gasps> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and the fact that he has several quirks make him special. Oh, this is Shigaraki. <gasps> this is Shigaraki. Oh my thinking god, this. that's pedophilic. He has several quirks make him special. special. What would he look like if he took off his Shigaraki thought as he. Izuku read his mind, blushing. Don't even finish that thought, Izuku yells, flushed. W -w 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 what? Shigaraki blushes. If you want to see me shirtless, it's then a, it's, a it's not. It's not. It's so totally different things. I'm gonna cry. Anyway, if you want to see me shirtless, then Izuku stands up and walks over to Shigaraki. I'll join your crew, but Izuku takes his hands. It takes the hand off of Shigaraki's face. You have to show me why you want me. I'm gonna and cry. And there's those really things. You have to show me why you want me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go cry. Izuku whispers. Toes. Agreed. Agreed. That's all he says. Shigaraki whispers seductively into Izuku's ear. <laughs> I... <laughs> Can we take a short intermission? <laughs> Can I... <laughs> I'm gonna keep reading. Guys. Oh no. Hold on. <laughs> she needs a chip. <laughs> What is going on? Izuku put his left leg between Shigaraki's legs and takes off his own jacket and his shirt. Then he looks into Tomura's eyes and smirks. As if Izuku laughs as he put his right hand on Tomura's head. Should I make you forget all about me or just this? Izuku thinks out loud. What are you doing? Tomura yells at Izuku. That's my thought exactly. I know, what right? Are what are you doing? This is like... Uh, uh. Okay then. Continue. I think I would just make you forget about this. Izuku says he thinks about something. But I will give you a small present. to read this oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna be reading the bad boy for everyone okay <laughs> <laughs> no i like them <laughs> i don't i, I don't them? have to see your mm -hmm. um azuku pulls down tomura's collar of his black v-shaped long sleeve <laughs> shirt and puts his hands on his waist azuku then looks up into shigaraki's eyes and bites his collarbone drawing some blood I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to mute this. No, there, uh, there's not any. Hold on. 
You won't remember any of this as he whispers into Tomura's ear as he disappears. Tomura then collapses. His memory of the past ten minutes disappears from his mind as he falls into a slumber on the moist sand with his dreams. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, that's it. I'm gonna cry. Um, this is the miraculous ladybug one. Yeah. Oh my god. You have to start from right from right here. Read it out loud. Okay. The next two weeks were full of Adrian. The two started to get incredibly close, but neither of them really realized. She saw him every day during the sixth period and every night on her balcony. That's kind of creepy. Mayor Adrian yawned one night. He doesn't yawn every night? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, scooting, slightly scooting closer to Marinette. Oh, they're in the same room. Mm. 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 Do you know what you're going to be for Halloween? It's like two weeks away. Marinette shrugged. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I gotta do voices. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Adrian slightly closed his eyes. I'm thinking about being a cat. I, she waited for him to finish, but when she looked over him, his eyes were closed. Can we sleep together? <laughs> he mumbled against her. Marinette's eyes nearly popped out of her head. W what? Adrian snapped awake. Well, like in the same bed. Like, just sleeping. Plus, people who sleep together have stronger bonds. Probably. I'm gonna go cry. Marinette considered. It was late and getting chilly. She could just shoot him home, but she really didn't mind sleeping with him. Okay. Really? She shrugged. It's just sleeping. Plus, a bed sounds much more comfortable. She opened the trap door and... The two of them slipped inside her room. She went into her closet and changed into her tank top and leggings that she slept in. While she did that, Adrian pet Tiki. Tiki texted his friend. Wait, do they know? I think they do. Oh, okay. Adrian pet Tiki and Tiki accepted his affection and nuzzled his hand. Fuck that. I'm kidding. Don't. Anyway, <laughs> um, she stepped out in front of Adrian. I don't think I have anything that will fit you. That's fine. Adrian began to unbuckle his belt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! She held up her hands. What are you doing? Taking off my belt so I can be more comfortable? Adrian, Marinette flushed a bit. Don't worry, Mari, he assured. My pants won't come off. But you will. Hey, what? Huh? Anyway, um... And only a second later, he added, but this will. He threw his shirt to the side and tried not to look at his will to find jest and golden skin. <clears throat> okay. Um. She quickly switched off the light and took out her pigtails and got under the covers and laid still. She felt the bed skin underneath Adrian's weight as she threw back the covers to get underneath as well. Marinette became sleepy fairly quickly but she decided to do something a little risky. Huh? Aren't you, like, 12? <laughs> I mean, aren't you, like, 12? I think they're actually, like, 15, 14. So, like, yeah, are you, like, 12? <laughs> they're, like, around our age. Yeah. Imagine. Oh, my God. Okay, continue. Okay. Um... Scooted closer to Adrian into his side. Adrian didn't know how to respond to her reaction. You're so warm, she mumbled, tangling her legs with his. Adrian tried not to say anything stupid as she moved herself between his arms. I thought you said just sleeping, he wondered aloud. I did, but people who cuddle probably have stronger bonds. Right, Adrian croaked as he sh as she snuggled herself against his bare chest. That is terrifying. For the project. He wrapped his arms securely around her and nestled his face into the top of her head. She smelled so good. 
<laughs> Adrian was definitely a cuddler. <clears throat> Adrian smiled to himself. Good night, my lady. He told her. Good night, kitty. If a, oh my God, they are the they are the epitome of Discord couple. They are the Discord couple. Cleanse it. Cleanse it. Wait, it's time for the furry one you've all been waiting for. Uh, it just starts off bad. Okay, so they're like moving in together, I think. I don't know the context behind this. Uh, I finally got the last box. Yan wept the sweat off her forehead as she carried the last box. To the Is she human? Uh, I've never seen them worse. <laughs> I know, right? Why she took the box? Oh, this box to the apartment. Yan looked at the boxes that were in her room. The furriers that gave her this apartment told her that she has a roommate. I wonder when my roommate's gonna be home. Yan asked herself, but she shook it off. For now, I just have to unpack and take a little nap. Yan's ready to unpack her stuff. Hey, that was weird. Yan finished unpacking. Yan fell to her bed and fell asleep. Yan. Yan, Yan, Yan. Yan woke what up. What a name, like Juniper. Yan. Woke up. No, say it like Juniper. So no. Like I'm saying Yan. Yan woke up by the noises in the kitchen. Is that my roommate? Yan wasn't quite sure, so she got her bat and walked out of her room. She slowly walked to the kitchen, and someone turned the corner. She swung her butt. Bat. Ow! What the? Yan dropped her bat. The voice was deep and harshly. Yan looked up to see a wolf male maybe in his 20s at least black and white fur scars on his face and orange sunglasses who the heck are you he yelled and grabbed Wyan's wrist i'm your you, you roommate Wyan, Wyan, Wyan said as he let go of Wyan's wrist i'm jagger he said as he smirked you're pretty hot that I just met you just now. That that is that's literally what he said. You're pretty hot that I just meet you just now. Anyway, Jagger said he he cur he cur he careless your cheek Caressed. and <laughs> made you <laughs> no it's careless flush in a deep red. <laughs> hey, Wyan slapped Jagger away from her cheek. Sorry, sexy. I just can't control. Sexy. <laughs> Mm. I just can't. Sexy. I just can't get toys over here. Jagger said. That's how I speak to my chips. Jagger pushed my hand against the wall. They Jagger. can't hear you speak up. <laughs> Jagger pushed my hand against the wall. Jagger, Wyan yelled as the tip of her lynx ears. Oh no, she's not human. Lynx ears turned pink. Is this Nova? <laughs> Maybe I should just say Nova. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my one of my personas' names is Nova. This is why I hate the furry fandom, by the way. If you ever hurt me again, you get a punishment. Jagger smirked as he went to Wyan's neck. Started to get... <laughs> why are they... <laughs> I think I'll call you Kitty. Jagger said in a very deep voice. He let go and gave you a piece of paper. These are the rules you need to follow. Rules. Don't come out. Uh, don't come out if my friends are over. Ask me if you attend anything. Don't lie. Come talk to me. Call me if you're in danger. Hit me, and your punishment will be bad. These are so cringy. This is like neck beard. Like I'm gonna read this. <laughs> no. Like how far it goes. It probably goes very far. I'll read it to my list. I'm gonna add it to my list. Okay. Why and look at Jagger and puts paper in a pocket. Okay, I follow the rules. Jagger smirked. All right, kitty. He messes up Wyan's hair. There's chicken on the counter if you want any, Jagan said before he went to his room. Pause. Do you think that there's furry chickens? Yeah. And this is like Beastars? Okay, not not even the point. She took a shower and went to bed. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna read any more list. of that. I'm gonna add that to my list. I'm not gonna read any more I'm gonna add that. that to my list, because like that seems... Oh, that's kind of... You a furry? Oh, she's cute. Yeah. Still kind of looks like Nova. Yeah. Red Nova. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm gonna insert a picture of Nova many times. Add to my reading list. I'm Wait. gonna go cry. Tee -tee stories. I anyway, I added all of these to my library. So, you know, if you actually like one of these, you can message me and I'll give it to you. I'm not joking. Where's Chapter Two Chef? I don't. Do not. Okay. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. I will see. I'll see you guys in the. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I'm gonna have to cleanse my phone. Was there? Bye. Was my little cousin watches my channel. Oh, hi, Sean. Yeah, hi, Sean. This Lily's back. Uh, get it, you're gay. Uh. <laughs> Lily, we get it. You're gay. I get it. I'm gay. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Ah, bye.